In today's video, I am working on a huge three foot by five foot alcohol ink painting. I'm working out in my garage and I am working on a very large piece of Yupo paper, which is a synthetic paper. I'm trying something a little bit different. Instead of just putting the alcohol ink directly on the paper, I am mixing it with a bunch of my rubbing alcohol first and then putting that down. So I have really large amounts of liquid that I'm going to be using. I have three shades of black and gray alcohol ink and then I just have a couple of paper cups a stir stick and my rubbing alcohol. So like I said, I'm just adding some of my ink to my cups and then adding in the rubbing alcohol and then just putting that on my paper and then using my hair dryer to evaporate that rubbing alcohol. So this worked uh, really well. It worked better than I thought it would. Also working on something this large was uh, very intimidating, but very fun. I bought a huge roll of this paper so I can do all sorts of larger pieces. Obviously uh, to protect myself, I'm wearing my gloves and my face mask. Um, the fumes were really strong with all of the rubbing alcohol that I was using. So it was really nice to wear that mask. And I really just started by pouring my alcohol ink and rubbing alcohol mixture right onto my paper and then just started using the hair dryer to uh, move the colors around and start drying it. Uh, I then just used alcohol straight from the bottle to get my inks to move better and also remove some of those really hard lines that you get um, when the rubbing alcohol starts to evaporate and everything starts to dry. Uh, for this one, because it was so large and I was working with so much fluid all at one time. I actually turned my hairdryer up to the high setting. So it was really hot, but it worked really well. One of the things I like about this medium is that even once it's dry, you can add more of the rubbing alcohol to reactivate the ink. And as you can see, I just pour some on the surface and then use my hands to remove some of those really hard lines. So even if you don't like the way that it looks when you first start working with it, you can definitely keep adding more ink and more rubbing alcohol and just really change your design until you're really happy with the way that it looks. This one is a commission, so I'm sticking with the colors that the person chose. But in my next ones, I want to do some really bright uh, colors. Blues, greens, pinks, yellows. Uh, this is just something that I think will have a lot of potential for making some really pretty paintings. Overall, this process took me about 40 to 50 minutes. I ended up um, just 
using up the ink that was in my cup and then I just kept mixing small amounts of the ink and the rubbing alcohol. Um, I was making some areas lighter and some areas darker and just really trying to create a nice marbled effect and then having the uh, darker black ink versus the lighter gray ink also really helped to create some really nice contrast throughout this entire piece. I've been incorporating more alcohol ink pieces into my videos lately. If you want to check out another really fun one, you can check out video 573. I created a 24 inch alcohol ink painting on a wood surface and I used blues and greens in that one. And then in video 574, I added a gold layer. Overall, I'm really, really liking this medium. Uh, it's so much fun to use. There's definitely a learning curve compared to working with acrylics, but it's fun to learn some new mediums and to be able to create some uh, different designs that I can't do with acrylic paints. Thank you all for watching today. I hope you liked this video. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Um, like I said, I have a lot more of this paper, so if there is a color palette that you want to see me do with some alcohol inks, let me know. I have some ideas for some other larger pieces along with some uh, multi-panel pieces for some beautiful pieces of art with this. But don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell for notifications. I do put out free videos a week and I'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.